Good evening. In our news bulletin for tonight, the island is going through a power crisis this week due to lightning strikes. Taong Anyue organized a public forum to discuss intellectual property rights today. Damage to some of the scenic sea tracks have resulted in cautionary messages from the Niue Tourism Department. The Pacific Sports Ambassador Dame Valerie Adams is expected to visit Niue in April. Lightning strikes earlier this week has resulted in an ongoing power crisis for the island with several power cuts in the past few days. While Niue Power Corporation staff have continued with repair and restoration of these services, there has been a fluctuation of power throughout the week that has also affected other services like the mobile network to the north of the island that is still down. Yesterday, power staff had to install a temporary line from the old public works department building to Alina's restaurant because a high voltage dropout fuse was damaged. Areas that were affected included Pemisi, the airport, Fulahi, the whole of Funuakula area, all the way down to the New Zealand High Commission office. The area where the high voltage cable is located has also been cordoned off by newer police and the public have been cautioned to stay away from this live cable. In the afternoon, power to the northern side of the island was switched off to allow repair work on a transformer at Halaika that went well into the night and staff were working under torchlight and the power was restored in the evening. While the corporation is dealing with a number of faults and trying to restore normal services, they also held a one-day consultation yesterday with the village councils. This session was to give a brief overview of the new Power Meters project. This is also part of the community outreach approach to work in partnership with village councils to guide some of the changes with the power supply. The expectation is that with more information and understanding, there will be less reluctance faced when the new meters are installed in households. Newer Power have scheduled a number of community meetings over the next three weeks, starting with Liku this coming Sunday. Local businesses and stakeholders were in a one-day workshop today to better understand their exclusive rights to intellectual property. The workshop that was organized by the Economic Planning Division and Taonga Niwe with assistance from the World Intellectual Property Organization. Two representatives from this organization are on the island consulting with different departments and local private businesses about intellectual property as they work to draft an intellectual property strategy that will formulate a policy. The drafting of this document will assist Niwe especially its musicians, to prevent plagiarism and copyright of stories. According to the director of Tsao Niwe, Moira Enetama, it is important to protect and claim ownership of newly composed or old songs, family stories, personal poems, trademarks or designs for future generations, as well as to acknowledge people that created or invented them. The intellectual property strategy that is being drafted by WIPO will potentially be used by Taonga Niwe and other stakeholders within the next six months. Heavy storm surges and winds over the last few days has taken its toll on a number of the island's popular sea tracks and scenic sites. The Niwe tourism team have had time to make assessments of damage sustained and have advised the general public and operators to proceed with extreme caution to some sites that have been affected. The track to Hiyo has been closed and other sites like Limbu, the Hiktavaki Sea Track, Talava, Vaila and Utuko have also been affected. The department has stressed that if people are aware of any other damage to other scenic sites, to inform new tourism and include images that would assist them with assessing damage and plan for repairs. New Zealand's very first Pacific Sports Ambassador, Dame Valerie Adams, is expected to visit Niue next month. In October of last year, the four-time world champion in shot put was appointed as the Pacific Sports Ambassador by Foreign Affairs Minister Murray McCulley. She is well known for her sporting achievements in shot put, 
having represented New Zealand in several sport events around the world. The New Zealand High Commissioner Tenua, His Excellency Ross Arjun, was excited to make the announcement about the pending visit that they are preparing for. Certainly a key partner will be the Education Department. We want her to be able to interface uh, with the children, both at the primary school and the high school. Uh, in addition to that, there's tourism opportunities as well. She's a well-known person, a, a megastar in her own right, uh, certainly in the athletic world. Uh, and on top of that, we want to be able to make sure that we take advantage of her skills and talents uh, about motivation. Uh, so at the moment, we're thinking about perhaps putting uh, a group of uh, people together that she can talk to and uh, give some learning about her experiences that she's had uh, on her uh, road to stardom. Super excited to have her here. Uh, we hope that the people of Nui uh, can get behind the visit, uh, welcome her, embrace her, and um, you know, just sort of uh, recognise her for the person that she is. Uh, she's just made uh, tremendous inroads in the world of athletics, and uh, she's just got a wonderful story to tell. Um, she has got uh, great Pacific roots, and we want to be able to uh, build on those and uh, make sure that the people of Nui just have a clearer understanding of uh, how sports diplomacy works as well. Uh, she'll bring all of that credit to Nui. While she is in Nui, the expectation is that she will share some of her knowledge and motivation as a successful athlete to inspire others. Dame Valerie Adams will be arriving in Nui from the 4th to the 7th of April. That is our news for tonight. We do hope that you have a good night and weekend ahead and look forward to joining us again for our next news bulletin on Tuesday.